Right, so this number one featherweight contender is no stranger to this setting. Tonight, though, he believes he's just a much better version of himself and finally has the goods and the chops to actually be a world champion. Sometimes you get there, John, and you're just not ready. It's not easy to become the best in the world. The first time this man got here, he was a great fighter. He was good, but he just wasn't ready to be the best in the world. He said that the moment he got back home, he went to work to improve it. He feels like all the improvements were made, and tonight he is the best featherweight in the UFC had. And it does seem as though we have taken two-way action on this fight, but a lot of people believe in the challenger, and I'm not just talking about his coaches. We'll see how it goes tonight. Well, the UFC's featherweight division is a hard one to hold down consistently, but this man has done it. He's the undisputed champion, and his latest title defense comes here tonight. He seems to be getting better. You, you think that when a guy becomes the champion, he may rest on his laurels. He may start to take a look at his work and smile. Right. Not this guy. This guy is doing more now. He seems more motivated to continue to build on the legacy that he's already created. He's a great champion, and tonight he intends to keep that belt. And he's never sitting on a lead, he's never playing with his food, he's always focused, and now the champion has his sights set on this very worthy challenger here tonight. Jose Aldo Jr. He has graced the octagon yet again. Aldo is ready to fight. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Super Sonic Yusha. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr. And there's Herb Dean. He Ready. will handle the action inside Ready. the octagon. Good. So here is the UFC featherweight champion, Jose Aldo. Seven successful UFC title defenses during his first ring. Oh. His leg kick rounds his opponent with it a little bit, trying to stay upright. But man, Change the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh! Oh! Nice high kick. Get right here. Body shot now, but it's turned back by Houston. Always busy here in the clinch. Lands a nice punch there. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. All right, we will see how Jose Aldo Jr. chooses to proceed, and it looks as though he's going to work off of that jab and low leg kick here early in this one. I mean, ever since Jose Aldo started boxing with the Brazilian Marines, his hands have just gotten so much better. But he is known for the outside leg kick. It's his calling card, and if you're Jose Aldo, you want to fight behind that. He's got that single collar tie. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Team is officially tight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, 
Wow, that is great submission defense. Big ground and pound. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. Yeah, he is not kicking to the leg. He's kicking through the leg, and you see his opponent lifting now all around the octagon. Oh, look at that. Man, his head should have been tested early. Thirty-five total strikes and counting have now landed for the King of Rio, Jose Aldo. Flips the punch nicely there. Hook in the clutch there is good by Aldo. All right, so he continues to attack that. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize he's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, how good is this? Both men going for the finish. Just misses. Well, Joe. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. Might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. He's getting worked to the body now by that elbow. So nice job changing levels with the striking there. It looks like some swelling is forming after that ground pound strike lands. South position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh, oh man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. Lands the inside leg kick there. He's taking too many of those inside low kicks, man. That leg is getting beat up. Now dealing with a cheat cut. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. So a strong five minutes down. Heading back to the corner now after a competitive round. And Yusuf's got a cut to deal with above the eye, or perhaps better put, the cut man has got to deal with it. We'll see if he can stop the bleeding.
as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect him. There's a kick. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Just a second there. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, three seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and Steel, the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr. All right, Jose Aldo, your winner tonight by TKO, and he sort of felt like this particular opponent left some openings, and he certainly closed those tonight. You can't have openings against...